This might be a sad story at the beginning. However, I believe that the results will be great and uh, the ending will be happy. Three years ago, I lost my friend, Layla. Not because she died, but because she was pregnant. Pregnancy normally is supposed to be a happy announcement. However, it was not the case. Uh, the, her story began four years ago when she met her fiancé, Ahmed. Her fiancé seemed to be serious enough and mature enough to hold his promise. And eventually, he went to her house, he met her family, and then they, they accepted him as a fiancé of, of their daughter. But everything has changed when she announced him that she was pregnant. At that time, as he did not have a, di uh, a stable job, he decided to run away. So he did not hold in his promise, and he left his, the family that was to be supposed to be his and left. During that, during that time, I was looking at her crying and suffering, and I couldn't do anything. But at that time, uh, she, she wanted to keep it secret. She, wanted to, she thought of abortion, but she did not want to do this. So after weeks of silence, she decided to tell her family about this trouble. So she told them they rejected her. They did not accept this, and they clearly announced her that she has to quit the house and go somewhere else. So she went to Casablanca, the biggest city in my country, where she thought she can be able to survive within the five million people who live there. So at that moment, months later, I conducted a research uh, about you know, looking for the situation of women and single mothers in my country. So I realized that she's not the only one. Actually, 30 million single mothers give birth, 30,000 single mothers give birth each year. And that 150 child are born every day and are considered as illegal. So her case was not the only one, and the first one or the last one. Many organizations, many associations, try to save those women's lives by giving them by housing them or giving them some education. However, it's not enough because their level of education is not very high, so they cannot afford a job or afford a good life, a decent life. So I decided then to gather a group of students who are ambitious and who are ready to take this adventure and to start working with me to solve this problem and to help all those women. And getting inspired from what we learned at school we tried to give it to them, uh, you know, as volunteers. Which gave birth to Empowering Single Mothers in Morocco, ESSM. So we started first as 10, 10 master degree students, working only with 15 women who hesitated as they were not, they, they, they did not have faith on us. So they hesitated to attend our sessions. However, we are today 24 students, and we are working with four groups of women who just are motivated and ready to come to study and to get their certificates and to go ready to, to work. So our sessions are three months workshop sessions on business skills, uh, and also we contacted some specialists who are, who are ready to come and to give them lessons on, for example, oil making, uh, products and traditional products making, uh, hand uh, making things, um, traditional clothes, sewing, hairdressing, etc. So, at that time, we kept on working and the results were improving a little bit. But one time, we went and targeted an NGO in my country and then uh, during the first, the first day and the first session, I was astonished and I was amazed by seeing my friend Leila, who left the, the city and went to Casablanca, and she decided to take the course 
and she decided to, to be there for, like, for learning and for having a good life. She said, yes, I made a huge mistake, but my baby has nothing to do with all this. She has the right to live a decent life. I strongly believe that each one of us can make a change and that we all are ready and able to create a new life for anybody else. That's why I want you all to believe that you can be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you.